Rồi, chào mừng cô chú đến với thành phố Tokyo, Nhật Bản. Fourteen visitors from Vietnam take a bus tour around Tokyo. À, cái cái tháp truyền hình ở bên phải này là tháp truyền hình Tokyo Tower. Thì sau trước khi mà có cái tháp truyền hình Tokyo Skyti kia thì thì cái tháp này là cũng là một trong những biểu biểu tượng của Tokyo. Di tích của cái thành phố rồi. Có số mét. Hôm qua thì được nhìn thấy trên TV ở Hà Nội. Hôm nay như gọi là đến tận nơi này. <cười> thấy xe máy ấy, cả ô tô hay người đi bộ. They are all Japanese Vietnamese, the children of Japanese soldiers stationed in Vietnam during the end of the Asian Pacific War. This is their first visit to Japan, their father's homeland. We followed the families on their seven-day visit to trace their roots. Vietnam, war-torn until the 1970s, has undergone rapid economic development since the 90s. Hanoi, the country's capital, has become one of the major cities in Southeast Asia. Japan and Vietnam have been strengthening their bond through the years. This is the Nhat Thanh Bridge completed in 2015. The giant 3.8 kilometer bridge funded by Japan's ODA symbolizes their friendship. As the two countries deepened their bond, Japan's emperor and empress made their first ever visit to Vietnam in 2017. One of the main purpose for their visit was to meet with the families of former Japanese soldiers. Up until then, their existence had not been publicized. Their stories were untold chapters of the post-war history. Là phấn khởi, người đã lưu ý quan tâm đến gia đình chúng tôi, mà người cũng đã cao tuổi. Thirteen years ago, NHK learned about the existence of Japanese soldiers' families abandoned in Vietnam and covered their story. This is Gwen Thi Suan, who exchanged words with the emperor. At the time, she was 82 years old. This is Yoshiharu Shimizu, who married Swan in 1945. He remained in Vietnam after the war, where he lived with his wife and children. Mà lúc nào cũng vui, không bao giờ biết ông buồn, không bao giờ biết ông khóc. Nói cái gì lại nhai gì ông cứ giả vờ ông ngủ, ông ngáy to tướng đi, ra đều ngủ không biết. Không nói nữa, ông lại quay nữa hết à, lại nói, nói ông lại ngáy. Vui tính lắm, không bao giờ giận được. However, their life together ended abruptly. Indochina was a French colonial territory. In 1940, the Japanese army started occupying Vietnam. More than 80,000 soldiers were stationed there. 
With Japan's defeat in 1945, Ho Chi Minh declared independence. However, France, the former colonial power, refusing to recognize Vietnamese independence, sent troops to re-establish control. Viet Minh, a national independence coalition, begins war with France to fight for their independence. Viet Minh was alert to the presence of disarmed ex-Japanese soldiers. Rather than despair returning to the U.S.-occupied Japan, more than 600 soldiers joined the Viet Minh. They helped fight for their independence. They provided their expertise in military training, production of weapons, and medical treatment. Their presence became significant to the Viet Minh that had very little experience in warfare. Encouraged by the Viet Minh, Vietnamese women married the Japanese. The men received official registration as new Vietnamese, which helped them establish their life in Vietnam. However, in 1954, just before the Battle of Dien Bien Phu, the ex-Japanese soldiers were called in to assemble. After attending a six-month-long training program, the men were pressed to return to Japan in complete secrecy. This is Luang Ti Lok. One morning, her husband leaves her work like any ordinary day, never to return. Swan and her husband also had two children and a third child on its way. Since the 1950s, Vietnam was divided into the North and South. The Vietnam War breaks out between North Vietnam and the U.S. All ties between Japan and North Vietnam were severed. There was no means of contact between the fathers and the families. Japan and North Vietnam established ties in 1973. This year marks the 45th anniversary of the diplomatic relations between the two countries. To commemorate, Japan's foreign ministry invited the children of the former Japanese soldiers to Japan. The gap was closing very quickly between Vietnam and far away Japan. Fourteen Vietnamese from ten different families will visit Japan, their father's homeland. Miyuki Komatsu was asked by Japan's foreign ministry to coordinate this project. She came to Vietnam as a teacher for a Japanese language school 25 years ago. Since learning one of her students was the child of a former Japanese soldier, she has been providing support to families. Miyuki's father is a 
で、えー、亡くなった人の場合はあのお墓参りは絶対したいだけどお墓も見つからない、えー、人が多いんです。Each family is dealing with a complicated situation. <laughs> This is Kao Kain Tuong, age 68. He also goes by his Japanese name, Yoshia Takazawa. <laughs> This is Tuong's mother, Wong Ti Lok, age 93. She has become considerably weaker since the last interview. Her husband disappeared when her oldest son, Tuong, was five years old. Her husband, Tamiya Takazawa, was a military physician. They met and got married when Locke was 20. Takazawa joined the Viet Minh to provide medical assistance. Locke was raising four children. Her second son, Toshia, was killed in action during the Vietnam War. I mean, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. This was the only picture left that can remind her of their marriage. Twenty-five years ago, they received a letter written by the missing father. He had made great effort to find his family through different contacts. Đó là bố còn khỏe, bố muốn sang thăm mẹ với các các con. Còn nếu bố không được thì bố sẽ lập tục đón gia đình sang chơi. Tôi nghĩ xin nghỉ hưu sớm. <laughs> in hopes to speak to his father in Japanese when they reunite, Tuong abandoned his job to attend a Japanese language school. <laughs> However, his hope was crushed in less than a year. All they know so far is that he had passed away in Ishikawa Prefecture. <laughs> Tuang takes off to Japan without knowing what awaits him there. Some families have information about the father. <laughs> This is Chan Duk Sun, age 63. His father, Nobuyoshi Tachibana, was a sergeant of the army. 
he returned to Japan soon after Zun was born without saying goodbye. The father started a new family in Tokushima Prefecture. Komatsu contacted the family in Japan and got permission for Zun to visit the grave of the father. He passed away six years ago. Zun, feeling strongly about his father's native country, sent his son off to college in Japan. The son will accompany his father on the trip. A month before leaving for Japan, Komatsu receives an unexpected call. Ninety-three-year-old Swan, who exchanged words with the emperor, had fallen ill and was taken to the hospital. She suffered both heart trouble and pneumonia in the intense heat of summer, topping 40 degrees Celsius. We visited Swan's house located in the suburb of Hanoi. Swan raised her three children here after her husband left. This is Huang, age 69. She was only six at the time her father left, but has fragments of memory about him. <laughs> In this nation, with the strong spirit of Confucianism, the people take over the father's family line. For them, Japan is without a doubt their homeland. They finally landed at Tokyo International Airport. <laughs> 14 Vietnamese from 10 families. Their seven-day journey in search of their father's shadow begins. Chúng tôi khi nhận được tin được sang thăm Nhật Bản, 
chúng tôi đã nhiều đêm không thể nào ngủ được vì The trip started off with a tour around popular Japanese sites. This is Sensoji, a temple crowded with worshippers. Many have come to pray to be blessed with good fortune in this world. After offering prayers, the coordinator is approached by a journalist. He is with Hokkoku Shinbun in Ishikawa Prefecture with the request to interview Tuong. He had information about the family of Tuang's father in Ishikawa. Tomorrow, Tuang will part with a group headed for Mount Fuji. He leaves for his father's hometown. At Kanazawa Station, the local newspaper reporters and television crew were ready and waiting. The first meeting with his half-brother takes place at a hotel. Kazuya Takazawa has agreed to meet with Tuang, who is 10 years apart. ああ、そうです。いや、あの、ね、皆さんも。え、あ、after returning to Japan, Tuang's father remarried. Following his father's footsteps, Kazuya became a doctor, currently serving as assistant director at a hospital. He had been told about the family in Vietnam when he was a child. ま、小さい頃はなかなか受け入れるのが難しかったですけど、やっぱ大人になると顔さんの気持ちもほんのちょっとはまあ分かるかなと思うようになってきましたね。はい。これこっちも<笑> 
壊,壊れてはいるんですけど壊れてるんですが父が使ってたものですので。In Japan, it is the custom to distribute keepsakes among family members. ま、ま、たんよく3回。え、もう何年ぶりまた。じゃあ、ま、たん。じゃあ、ま、たん。もう。またん。もう。またん。もう。またん。もう。またん。もう。またん。もう。またん。もう。またん。もう。またん。もう
con đang nói chuyện với nhau ừ. nói chuyện với bố xong rồi thì ừ. bây giờ mới ừ. là 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 hết chứ ừ. hai bố con đã hòa giải rồi tất cả mọi cái Day five, in the midst of an approaching typhoon. The families arrive at Maizuru Port in Kyoto. After the war, returnees mainly from China and Siberia took their first step here. The total is 660,000. In 1954, the first batch of 71 soldiers headed to Maizuru. ニュークに午前8時マイズル港に静かに入港団地に分譲した帰国者が桟橋に着き上陸第一歩を記しました我が子我が夫十数年ぶりの再会に桟橋は感激の嵐です By 1961, they transported soldiers back from Vietnam a total of five times. This is a picture taken right after their arrival. After spending over a decade of their young adult life in a foreign country, each went back to their homeland. This picture shows young fathers in their 30s. <laughs> it was a fresh reminder that their fathers also had a place to call home here in Japan. This is the pier where the fathers once stood. Fee, the son of Swan who was hospitalized. He was only one at the time his father had left and does not have memories to hold on to. như là bố vẫn ở và ranh quanh ở đây gần đây mà đi về là nghĩa là mà nó mình cảm thấy là bước chân lên đây là gần nhà bố rồi. For many years, Phi had clung on to his father's memory with the only family picture left. Eleven years ago, his wish had come true. 
after the program documenting his family aired on NHK, the father's Japanese family contacted them. The father paid a visit to Vietnam. It was a reunion after 52 years of separation. The two sons were especially enjoying being around the father, acting like little boys. They shared a beautiful moment together. This trip to Vietnam would not have happened if the Japanese daughter had not insisted. This is Kazuko Tanaka. She first heard about the family in Vietnam from her mother 13 years ago. The father Yoshiharu passed away six years earlier. Kazuko had taken the opportunity of this reunion to share the father's ashes. The final night in Japan. Zun returned from his visit to the father's grave in Tokushima. Zun and his son Hai are able to relax after finally meeting the Japanese family. 
lúc đầu ấy thì cái cảm xúc của tôi là tôi rất là coi như là là, là ngại ngùng vì cũng chưa biết thế nào là em mình sẽ sẽ ra sao thì anh em thì cũng chỉ coi như là, là tay bắt mặt mừng và nhìn ra thì là tôi nhận nhận biết trên khuôn mặt của hai em tôi là cũng cũng rất là mừng Jun's sisters had prepared a suitcase full of gifts. <laughs> Eight people were able to visit the father's graves or meet with the Japanese families. This is Tuong, who met with his half-brother in Ishikawa Prefecture. He is in a hurry to get back home. Ừ. Thế nó bảo nó muốn nối lại quan hệ với lại gia đình nhà mình. Ừ. Nếu mà nó nối lại mình. Vâng, vâng. Để thắp hương. Đây. Thế nào mình nhận được không? Không biết. Đồng hồ đau tay của ông cái này. À. Đồng hồ đây. Cái này bố hồi dựa kháng chiến là bố hay đeo vào này. Ừ. Bố mày có mộ à? Có mộ, mộ dòng họ đấy, to à, lắm. Thế à? Cả dòng tộc cái mộ to lắm. Ừ. To bằng cả cái cả cái khu nhà này. Ừ, thế à? Khu nhà này, ừ. to lắm. As Tuong offered a prayer, he expressed his wish to visit the father's grave again with his two sisters and his mother. He is planning to study Japanese again to communicate with his brother, Kazuya. Đồng hồ Aroi Kato. Cảm ơn ạ. Ô hay ô buổi sáng. Con như chi hoa buổi trưa. Ô. Như thế thôi. Sẵn nhập bản nhạc. Sẵn nằm. Đừng cố gắng đấy. Swan's daughter and her sons placed their father's ashes in the family altar. Ninety-three-year-old Swan has not yet been informed about her husband's death. Bây giờ cụ thì cũng yếu gần đất xa trời rồi. Cái thứ nhất là cũng nói thật với cụ để cụ chấp nhận. Làm tròn cái nhiệm vụ của người vợ vẫn còn sống là thắp cho cụ, dù không làm được gì nhưng mà thắp cho cụ nén hương, thế là tròn nghĩa đạo mà để cho cụ, cô dù có ra đi, cụ cũng thanh thản. Swan is anxious to hear about the trip to Japan. Bánh 
Four days later, the family decides to hold a memorial service for Yoshiharu, the father. <laughs> All of the family members gathered for this important day. Inside the house, Swan is sitting on her bed beside the family altar. Swan persuaded the doctors to release her. It was the wife's duty to hold a service for her late husband. This handkerchief was a keepsake from her husband when they reunited 11 years ago. The reoccurrence of war, two lives brought together and torn apart by the chaos of war. Three children, 10 grandchildren and 20 great-grandchildren. 73 years have passed. Swan and Shimizu's bloodline continues to be carried on into the new era of peace in Vietnam. Three months later, Swan quietly drew her last breath. She rests in peace right beside her beloved husband.